Hey guys, today we're taking a first look at the Android 7 update from Sony. So here I have the Sony Xperia XZ and I just updated the phone to Android 7 Nougat. Uh, so I've got a little bit of time to play with this phone and it is working fantastic. Absolutely no heating issues, everything is working fine. Uh, initially the phone was running slow and it was getting a little bit warm but after like 15 or 20 minutes now it's working fine. The fingerprint sensor works, no problem. And before I do anything else, let me just show you the Android version. So go to About Phone, and you can see Android version, Android 7, Android Nougat. And I'd like to go a couple of new features of the Android 7 Nougat update. First off is the notification bar. You can see there is a brand new animation and it is slightly and it looks slightly different. It's got two pages like this and you can edit this, um, add or remove more icons. So if you want to add do not disturb, it should now show up on the second page. There it is. No problems. And secondly, if you long press one of these icons, it'll take you to its main settings. So uh, if I long press on Bluetooth, it should automatically take me to Bluetooth setting and I can turn it on and off. No problems. Drag and drop again. And let me long press the hotspot icon and you can see it takes me to wireless and networks long press on the Wi-Fi icon and take me, it takes me to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi settings. Pretty useful. Long press on data and roaming, it'll take me to uh, the data mobile network settings. Pretty cool. Uh, the app drawer looks exactly the same like it did on Android Marshmallow. Uh, this is the Sony customized version, so is the Android launcher on the Xperia X, XZ. This is all Sony customized and you can see all the previous apps are still retained no problems and I can't really tell you guys how the battery life is because uh, the phone has just been updated but I can tell you guys the phone is butter smooth uh, I have no problems yes it was heating up initially but now it's cooled down uh, even though the battery is charging it's just slightly warm no problems so if you head over to settings, you can see these two new do not disturb and the mobile data settings right right in the main system settings. Uh, secondly, I'd like to go over the display settings. There is a new feature called display size. So pay, pay close attention guys. If you take a look at this home screen, uh, take, a look, take a look at these icon size and spacing. And now if we go back to display size and reduce this to small everything should become uh, nice and small no problems you can see the icon spacing has changed and I'm guessing you can add more icons over here so let me just try and add nope still the same amount of icons but you can see there's a lot more space on the home screen but you'll need to resize all of these widgets uh, and it actually looks much better like this because the Xperia XZ has such a big screen uh, everything is now much more smaller and much easier to work with you have a lot more screen area beautiful and all of my stuff is still there like I said no problems and one more new feature that this Android Nougat has is this multitasking feature, the split screen uh, feature. So, for example, I'm okay, so let's launch Chrome web browser for this, and let's go to okay, YouTube, no problem. Uh, now press on this icon over here, and you can drag and drop over the top to use the split screen feature, just like this and now you can use some other apps say for example I want to go to Play Store just tap on this and now you can use this split screen feature you can re readjust the uh, space here no problems 
Eh, it is working like a charm, no problem. Or you can readjust the uh, space for your second app. I'm not sure if it supports multiple applications like the uh, TouchWiz on Samsung used to do. Yeah, only you can use only a single application with this. And you can see some of the apps don't work with split screen. Uh, for example, Instagram doesn't work with split screen. So uh, if I have, if I'm already using the Play Store on split screen, uh, Instagram it just shows that app doesn't support split screen. So uh, this feature might not be available on all of the applications, but. and you just swipe it to the bottom to make the application full screen I can close this let's check out the camera app so if you launch camera uh, the update said that the uh, camera app supports new manual features so I've just switched the camera over to manual settings and you can see this little settings menu over here so you can set the focus now you can see everything is just blurred if I move this to macro you can see now everything is clear on the display so you get manual focus manual exposure which is pretty cool uh, you get one second exposure which is kind of a turn off because I would love to see five second exposure on this thing uh, automatic white balance uh, where is the ISO settings so you do have the 3200 ISO over here although I do recommend keeping the ISO below 800 on this phone because uh, your images will be grainy and stuff so you don't want that uh, you do have the self timer thing everything else is the same like it was before you do have this Sony customized super amazing camera UI and you get you do get the 23 megapixel shooting option even in the superior auto mode which was not there in previous Sony Xperia's so this is pretty cool you can see the small font size looks absolutely amazing on this screen unfortunately Sony didn't give and give us any new themes so there are no new themes that I could show you uh, apart from that everything is working fine I might make another video of this so yeah thank you for guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these see you all later bye